Uh, yeah. Welcome into another edition of Welcome. Road with RJ and Channing. Let's just Welcome. get right to it first because we typically don't have the TV on while we're recording, but we are right now. But we are. The American Derby is on. It's, not the <laughs> it's called the Kentucky Derby. Yeah, it's, it's called not the, the American Kentucky it's, Derby. It's well, Derby. we're not in America right now, so it is the American Kentucky Derby. Uh, well, oh. is there a, I was there, literally at an American Canadian, restaurant. Is there a Canadian Kentucky Derby? No, so I was just making sure because I made them turn this on at the restaurant that I was just at, and I was teaching them things about how awesome you it was. What can anything. you teach someone about the Kentucky Derby? Jay? It is the greatest time you'll ever have in your life. Oh, okay. Jay, because there. imagine going to a sporting event where everybody is right. I did hear LeBron Do you like this say horse? Say, Perfect. I did hear LeBron say today that you guys miss all the fun things. Oh, we miss all the fun things. Well, no, not true. Coachella. You love being no, in there, the playoffs. There's a, there's a couple of us that miss the fun things. Channing, Channing typically gets to have a good time. Well, not anymore because, <laughs> uh, hey, do you ever see like uh, National Geographic where there's that big shark and then there's a the little itty bitty sharks underneath the big shark that Those like aren't sharks, but keep going. Oh, they actually are tiny little miniature shark thingies. Thingies, shark thingies. <laughs> what are you saying? They're not sharks. That is me and Richard. So LeBron is the big shark, and guess what? LeBron needs us to pick the ticks off him. Oh, jeez. Uh, where you know what? Oh, we'll uh, that, that is we'll the worst. Sharks that have is, ticks that. on them. It's one. It's Shark Week. No, sharks don't have ticks. I've been. They bit have water by ticks. They have water ticks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what are you, you guys? Saying? That is nothing to joke saying? about. I've been bit by a tick before. Well, that's because you're from Lord knows where. <laughs> you're out in the woods like children of the corn. LeBron's first year back, the day before we left for the finals, I had a bullseye rash. It was the scariest Ooh. thing in my life. You know that. Okay, please explain that because there's a lot of jokes that go with that. <laughs> Come on. Well, <laughs> medically, Rob was so tickled. <laughs> medically, a bullseye rash symbolizes that of being Ooh. bit by a tick, which then could cause Lyme disease. Oh, yeah, Lyme disease, scary. which a lot of people uh, get uh, confused with MS. Really? Yeah, because your body can go into random convulsions. Oh, that's scary. Random thing I saw on Good Morning America, a woman had Lyme disease yeah. and she got pregnant and it helped balance her out or I, I, they don't, don't want to say cure her. Yeah. But once she had been struggling with Lyme disease and like she would show like her body going into like convulsions and like stomach and all this yeah. stuff and then she got pregnant and uh, a lot of the convulsions. So if you have Lyme disease, just pop a baby. I don't, don't have Lyme anymore because um, although the doctor said that you could use the picture of my bullseye in a textbook. Um, I was put on medication within like so many seconds. hours, and I was on it for a month. How much did you pay for that medication? I don't even know. I just said, give me whatever you got. Oh, Make wow. Make sure this does not get in my bedroom. That's so American. Um, <laughs> with that said, because the Kentucky Derby is going to happen while we're sitting here, we should all pick a horse. Oh, oh, we I already picked the list. number 10. I need the names. I'll I tell just you go what. off the coolest tell you. I typically go with the fourth horse. And the number fourth one race. is looking at Lee. Number two. Thunder Snow from Ireland. Wait, number, what's number 10? Number three, Fast and Accurate. Number four, On Trap. Number five, with Cleveland Ties, Always Dreaming. Number Always six, dreaming. State of Honor. Number seven is Gervin. Number eight, Hens. Number nine, Irap, with a P at the end. Number 10 is Gunnevara from Venezuela. Oh, my Venezuelan homies. And What's up, dude? The cheapest horse in the whole. No, no, we don't want that one. We don't want that one. We don't want the Channing. You also don't we don't want, want the, the Channing. One. We don't want the Channing fry of horses. No, now. no, no. I paid for a couple of uh, uh, dinners. Number Trust 11 me, is Battle of Midway. Trust Number me, I, 12, I had to get uh, the 87 Sunetier. gas Sunetier? instead of 93. Sonnetier. <laughs> Number 13 is J. Boy's Echo. Number 14, Classic Empire. I like always 15, dreaming. 15, McCracken. 16, Taprit. 17, Irish War Cry. Number 18, Gormley. 19, Practical Joke. And the last horse on the field Ooh, is that's mine. Patch. I like Patch. Oh, or we uh, could just look on, or we could just look on the, the 13 series. To 13 one to 1 is Patch. No, 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 no. So listen, you don't want to bet on a gray horse. I don't think a gray horse oh, has ever won a Kentucky Derby. Guys. Although if the, fav- if the favorite Cheating. wins today, it would be for the first time in a like, hundred years. Great how horse. About it? How, nine to two. How five about years in a row, the favorite has won the race. What? Always Dreaming was going to be the one that I won. Wait, who's number 10? What's the name of number 10? Carnivara. Carnivara. God, the Carnivara. Richard, Look at her legs. Richard, you asked. Dude, these horses are like pristine. Beautiful. They're beautiful. It's beautiful unbelievable. The, 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 like, 
you don't you cannot appreciate the yes you can so Channing you've been to the Kentucky Derby <laughs> yeah oh okay. yeah Give I did the whole experience. Kentucky Derby experience what does that mean number one when you get into Louisville everybody is extremely nice there's no like if you're going to a sporting event there's two sides mm-hmm. when you go to a Kentucky Derby there are no sides everybody's there for two things or three things to have a good time to drink and to bet Right? I would say that drinking and having a good time goes together. But. Well, some people get a little <laughs> loosey goosey, okay? Listen, some people get lost in the sauce. But when you, like, if you tell people, hey, this is my first time going, like, I don't know how to bet, I don't know what horse, they're like, listen, this is what you got to do. I've been coming here for 20 years, or I've been coming here for 10, or this is my second time. Somebody showed me how to do it. People are so nice. Everybody just wants to have a great time, even if you don't go to the, the all infield. the yeah, even if you don't go to the infield. I wasn't on the infield. I was behind, inside. I did all you know, got, got a little pricey, got a little pricey. <laughs> oh, Listen, I had to change my budget up for a little <laughs> bit, but it was worth it. Just going around the city, everybody is nice. Every restaurant is good. Um, just they're so accommodating, and then the actual excitement of every race is crazy. Even if you bet twenty dollars, five dollars, just the way the betting works, you could bet one dollar and win a thousand. Did you win? Super, oh, I won. Yeah, football. how tell, tell how everybody how much you, you won, Channing, at the most prestige, at the most famous, uh, historic racetrack in America, maybe in the world. You go to the Kentucky oh, Derby. Shit. You have a once in a lifetime opportunity to bet and On to be American there. You saw Pharaoh. An American Pharaoh, and you won how much money? Tell $100. everyone. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what? How much do you bet? Twenty dollars. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's so you really only made eighty dollars. Uh, that's eighty more dollars than I came out with. <laughs> no, Trust it's not. Me. No, it's not. How much did you spend on drinks, food, your outfit? Oh, what'd you oh, look like? Oh, shit. I killed him, girl. <laughs> Listen, I was killing him. <laughs> look, check the Instagram. Real C Fry. Scroll down. Your boy was killing him. I got at least seven compliments. Did you pick out your outfit? Uh, no, no, no. My guy from Mario, Sam. Holla at your boy. <laughs> um, red seersucker pants. <sighs> cigar brown shoes. But, uh, <laughs> red, white, and blue linen, like, patchwork Jacket, glasses, straw, boat hat, killed the game. Let me tell you, I don't dress that good. <laughs> I murder well, sesh. Well. Murders. I don't dress that well. I dress <laughs> I dress to not get made fun of. But that night, listen, your boy killed it. Uh, so had, had you ever gone to the, the racetrack in San Diego? Once and that's a good I time. barely made it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so in San Diego, I barely made it out. So in, in San Diego, it's, so it's called uh, it, it's in Del Mar. So it was right by the street by my house, uh, uh, the house that we keep talking about, the ranch. But it's uh, it's called where the surf meets the turf. So it's really oh. it's literally right on the ocean. But the best thing about it is that it goes on for like a month, month and a half. So like a, a random Tuesday afternoon, if you're bored, you'd be like. We can go to the track. So you go to the track. It's beautiful out. It's 80 degrees. It's in San Diego. And you just start drinking and eating and hanging out. We went to opening day. Opening day in San Diego. It's not the Derby, but it is, it's one of, the best, oh, it's one of the best parties that you can go to in Southern California. Oh, opening day in San Diego. I'm talking about everyone's dressed. They have, like, these huge hats. It's just a good time. It's, it's a, now, as we look at Allie trying to scroll through Channing's Instagram to try and find his outfit. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna, oh, Channing. Killed him. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Let killed him. I said I was going to be the judge of this. Be the oh, judge. Your boy done killed him. Listen, what is this? Walking dead? Because y'all let, look. <laughs> let me see this. Let me see this. Pick I, the but, job. But this is Pick what I want to tell everybody out. So if you go Pick down. your job. Uh, if you go, I was it's May 2nd, session. 2015. This is why. Do you want to know why Channing looked so good and why he was so prepped? And just so dialed in. Was it the uh, uh, Bloody Marys? I no, had no, 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 no. <laughs> the reason why you look so good, Channing, is because he had about two and a half months to prep for this oh, outfit. One? <laughs> oh, Cause listen. Because he wasn't going I to had the playoffs. four different outfits. Because he, he, he complete wasn't going. Complete different outfits. Channing Hang wasn't on. going to the playoffs. So he was like, oh, four months from now? Yeah, let's start planning my outfit for the Derby. Oh, yeah. Oh, I planned it right after All-Star break. I knew what was good. <laughs> oh, I had a. Oh, I haven't busted out, but I'm gonna tell people about my <laughs> double-breasted pink suit. 
pink and blue suit that I got. I'm going to wear it one day. That's one of the I'm rare waiting. times that guys can play dress up. Oh, it's the it, best. And guys can play dress up for the dirt. Like you can wear something so outlandish. Like oh, you can just it's you can go best. over the top. And it, it, it in San, like I said, in San Diego is the only opening day which yes. is similar to the derby that I've been to. I'm and I was there on a a great weather day, mm-hmm. right? Which is tough because it rains a lot there. And I was there where it was like they can win the triple crown, so it was even more excitement. And like uh, we got the passes to see the horses. Yeah. Um, and I went with the wife and mother-in-law, um, where her ex-husbands, like the husband that had passed, mm-hmm. um, had, you know, his family. So that was a real big thing for her and my wife's sister and her, my brother-in-law. So it was like a big thing for their family to go back to Kentucky, where their family was from. And Is this we, your wife's husband? Or I mean, I'm your wife's dad? My wife's stepdad. Oh, okay. okay. Who passed away. Anyways, dude, to see these horses and... We live good. We stay at nice hotels. We eat good. <laughs> about to compare us to horses. We, no, no, no. I can't compare us to horses because they live a better life than we do. These horses are constantly being – did you not see the how they train now? They don't even train on the track. They train in water. <laughs> like they run on a track maybe once or twice a week, but they run them in water to keep them in shape. They just said one of these derbies, one of these horses was bought at an auction – for one point two million dollars. Oh, that was cheap. Just, that was no, 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 was, no, no. It was the most expensive. That really? was the most expensive. Ever... No, your horse is worth one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. What about mine? Oh my God, your horse is worth poop. You want to? Hey, uh, you you want to hear my my Kentucky Derby story? Yes. In two thousand three, I was doing the NFL. I was the voice in Spanish of the NFL. So they invited me to do the Triple Crown race. They were gonna, the yeah. owner of the company I was working with had a horse in the race, so he, she wanted he wanted to do the races in Spanish. And Funny Side was running the. The race, right? And he was a the, a gelding, gelding is called G E L D I N G, and that means it's a horse that has been castrated. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. And he was like, you don't want those. He he won it. He was like the <laughs> the Spanish broadcast. He was angry that he got nuts. He was like off. the Spanish broadcast of the race because every every horse was in a barn, beautiful air condition and everything, and he was outside in a tent. There wasn't enough room for him, I guess. Can, can, I remember looking at him and saying, man, go out and kick some ass. <laughs> like dude, he won the first two races. It's crazy that, like, it, when you think about the, like, these horses now, not to, like, diminish the personalities of these horses, but, like, the guys who bet on them look at these horses in the eyes. And so, like, you could tell if a horse can't deal with loud noises, they can't deal with, like, competitiveness or – how they race if they need to be like on the left side of a horse or the right side of a horse. Yeah, there's a sign. There, there, there's a sign. It's that crazy. That's everything, yeah. Has anybody yeah. out there, fans, and anyone here seen Hot to Trot? <laughs> Hot to Trot. <laughs> Is it a movie? Oh, we're not. We're, I was not talking to you, Ali. We, 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 we established that. Hot to Trot was a movie. Was That's a movie. Really mean. It's the truth. But Hot to Trot is a movie uh, True. about horse racing, and it was Bobcat Goldway, right? And John Candy was the John voice. Candy, John yeah. Candy was the voice of the horse. Oh, and his name was Don. So like, the name of the horse was Don. <laughs> so you have always dreaming. You have like so and so. Blah blah. You have all these things. And then as that, you have and coming in last, Don. <laughs> 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 Just the name. Of the, I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's like Thunder Snow, Gormley, Battle Practical Joe, Looking at Lee, Battle of Midway, Fast and Accurate. Coming in last, Dawn. Dawn. <laughs> Channing, I'm right behind you. Notice how I'm not laughing. Oh, jeez. So, yo, it is very oh, funny. Oh, I love it. Wait, Channing, have you seen Hot to Trot with Bobcat? Maybe once. Yeah, you've seen it. Everybody's seen it. No, um, no, but you know, if you are the, one of the owners of these horses, you get a ring like, a fat championship ring. Oh, the way they celebrate when their horse wins. Oh, you understand cool. these guys. It was well, like listen, Richard in the this one they get okay, so okay, so if your horse before this is worth, let's say, one hundred and twenty-five oh, thousand dollars, your horse becomes millions, right? Well, then you, you make money breeding. with the horse just breeding, just breeding, breeding that breeding horse because you don't. That horse might never race again, just because they, they just might, wanna, they might not want to race they, him again. They never. They might never, especially if it wins a triple crown. Don't like, they? What? This is an don't they kill the horse? No, if, only no, if they if get it hurt. Get, if it gets hurt. Oh, okay. If it gets hurt, okay. yes. If it gets hurt, they might kill it or they might just it retire out. him to stop. Just retire. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and they but, stay because but in they Oregon, don't want they don't a place where they actually have retirement homes for these horses. Oh, not it. Not it. That was good. Oh. <laughs> I said not it, Rafa. I got it. I got it. I got it. Rafa. 
can room we, can service. We ta- can we take one? Can we take one second? Coming. And <laughs> so, on my Snapchat, a couple of um, a couple of weeks ago. Are uh, you and Richard Darren, wearing the same shoes? No, no. Darren, Darren had uh. Uh, Darren had this massager. Uh, Darren had this massager <laughs> on. on it. Boo. And, and, Sorry, well, I forgot I was on mic. So. Yeah. So, um, uh, no, no, just put the little chain on there so we don't have to keep getting. For everyone to uh, in. Yeah. So. Oh, oh so, yeah, so, so, right, yeah. So we um we got this massager from uh Darren had this massager from Sky so, I, so I I Snapchatted Braun on it, just making fun of it, and and then all of a sudden, next thing we know, we have fifteen of them in our locker room for every one of the guys. And Allie, how is the massager? <laughs> Allie has been she literally. Hasn't taken it off. She hasn't taken it off. How's yeah. the massager? It is the greatest thing in the world. I, I'm not gonna lie, because oh, so I snapchatted. It I snapchatted it once I got it, and I was like, "Look at this thing!" And everybody's like, "You were making fun of Braun. You were making fun of Braun. You were making fun of Braun." I was like, "Yes," but I'm telling you right now, it's worth it. What's the name of it? Maybe we are road tripping. Get, a, get one each too. What the name? I don't know. I, don't, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> What's the name of that uh, little massage thing oh, you got? It's it so hurt. good. When, when I, when I tell you guys this, and they gave it to us, they gave it to our team. I'll say this, but what I will say is, for one hundred and twenty-five dollars, there's going to be a lot of Mother's you Day gifts. You can get your mother. Mother's Day. This is definitely totally. going to go to my mom and grandmother. This thing is amazing. Oh, and it's heated. Yes, and it's heated. It's heated. Ooh. Yes. We so we already got it free, so don't think that this is an endorsement. But Channing, what are you doing? Hey, I was going to ask you guys. Um, is there anything kind of like the Kentucky Derby? Nothing. Um, that Nothing. no. That you guys haven't got to experience yet? Uh, there are lots of things that I haven't experienced. Uh, one, going to the moon. That you want to? Uh, <laughs> Mars is, is definitely something that I want. Uh, having wanna, twins. Uh, um, having Ooh. twins? No, I don't want fucking twins. Oh, Jesus. I do. I would love twins. Uh, it makes one of us. <laughs> uh, Channing, you Channing. have to stop making those noises. Oh, like, sorry, dude, sorry, I mic. forget, man. Channing, what's on the menu today? What did you order? Ooh, I ordered a little bit of cauliflower. <laughs> Ooh, tempura battered cauliflower. And then we got some pork buns. <laughs> did we not Ooh. order room service? Did you order this? Oh, same we thing? ordered room service too. Two? Uh, yeah, we ordered a lot. Ooh, these pork buns looking delicious. There's so much food here. Yeah. Chan- oh, y'all don't like eating? Channing has a bit pork of a problem. Pork ramen. What is that, Richard? Oh, my God. I don't Have know. you not had one of these? I don't Sorry, know. guys. We're going to get fat real quick. Pork buns. Whoever knows about pork buns, come get your boy. Uh, no, no. No, no. There isn't anything that I haven't been able to experience. really experience. There are things. Like, I, I want to be able to go to Coachella. You want to oh. be able to go to how about the uh, Fry Festival? No, not that. I wanted to talk about this the other day because okay. someone tweeted how yeah. you were um, what in game two. Why does this keep shutting off? In game Did I play two, good or bad in fry um, when you were just having a heyday and hitting your shots on Fry Island, that you were having a heyday on Fry Island. Hashtag oh, man. <laughs> Fry Festival. Don't hashtag me sh- on that. <laughs> I saw them meals. Did you hear I about that? Been hot. Yes. Man, yeah, let's. Yeah, that's would happened. you go back? Is to the Pride Festival? Would you? Would no, you, you have to change the name. You have to change the name. No, no way. Yeah. No. My thing is this: it's like you're paying twelve grand to get the the best of the best, and you get a bread and cheese plate with some old ragamuffin salad. <laughs> and the drinks are warm. What drink is warm? You heard about Pride Festival, right? Uh, I mean, I didn't know the drinks were warm. That is the last straw. Well, I watched Good Morning America, and they had um, a guy who um, what he say? Who wanted to go to Fry Festival. Uh-huh. So last minute, he got the tickets, and he went. And when he showed up, um, there was no food. There was no place to stay, and the drinks were warm. So while they were um, trying to kind of, like, cater to everyone, trying to get everything working and making sure it was going to go on. Right. Um, that's what all these – they ran out of food. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like right, a okay. big. Uh, how many? How do you do that? Well, no, they. I. I, I how do you one. Do, how do you do that? One. When. When Axe started backing out. When. Um. When you you're not getting the money for tickets sold because instead of you, you lose money when you pay for everything and you wait for tickets to get sold. 
situations like that happen where they book everything and wait for the tickets to get sold to pay the vendors. Yep. Right? So as the money comes in, then we're going to pay the vendors. So when the money wasn't coming in, then you're not paying vendors. Vendors started backing out. They started, you know, Axe started, Blink-182 backed out. And it just, those are things that, I don't know, man. When something seems too good to be true, you just have to kind of, you just have to call it a day. Before the race goes off, and since you guys are uh, ramen lovers, how about this? Which Which one of these would you rather have? Pork ramen with fresh ramen noodles and summer vegetables? Mushroom and barley miso ramen, chilled chicken ramen. I have the black mushroom. garlic shoyu shoyu ramen. I have the mushroom and barley. Kimchi coming. and barley miso ramen, and crispy catfish shoyu ramen. Those are only one of the few ramens available. The Blue Apron. Ooh. Are part. I have, ah, they I have, have everything. A on the way. So Somebody's Ali, here. Ali, Ali, Ali has Not been it. getting the orders from BlueApron.com. So, <laughs> you guys gotta order some ramen. Oh, we gonna order that ram dog. Like well, at least Nara, I now, like at least Nara I Nara now have something to compare it to. Um, Did yeah. you guys used to eat ramen noodles when you were kids? Yes. Nope. No, Channing. Channing. You Channing, didn't. No, Channing had a good life. His chef <laughs> didn't. His chef didn't make ramen noodles. So, okay. How um, nervous do you think these people are? The, well, well, there's a nervous. lot. Of, there's a lot. No, there's a lot of the people, the trainers, and the jockeys. And it, the it, betters. It, it will change your life. If you win one of these bad the boys. The jockeys are not. They're nervous. not. They're not nervous. Were you nervous before the championship game? This is their championship yeah, but game. This, okay, it's it's the okay, the jockey is controlling a horse. The it's jockey, not him. It's you. You're controlling you. So a coach wasn't. Ner- our, our coaches there weren't nervous. Our, this our coaches, jockey? Channing, stop. You're wrong. The I'll jockeys are wrong. nervous. I'll, I'm, be, wrong. I'll, I'll be, be wrong. Please be wrong on this. I'll be wrong. Like, I'll I'm be just, wrong. Fuck you. But I, I'll be wrong. <laughs> thank you. Say fuck me, but whatever you want. These jockeys are nervous. Well, there, it, there's an anxiousness. Like, whatever. This is anxious. There we go. That's a better word. Yeah, okay. That that makes Channing feel a word. like he's contributing. No, no, no. You pour the sauce in that, Richard. I, I know, Channing. I appreciate it. You know what? 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 Guys. I'm being mean to Rich, I'm being mean to Channing. Our listeners, if you guys so, were the size of a jockey, could you? Would you do that? No so, way. No. So you know these jockeys have a really kind of oh, fucked up life. Yeah. Uh, uh, like they they. So they, I so in uh, San Diego be because right, we've been dude. to one of them. Um, Thank you. They. Uh, You're the best. Yes, please, Channing. Yes, this is this is what the people want. They want to know what we're doing. They don't dog. need you to hear you say thank you and just have random conversations oh, so and boo d- people as they as they come well, in. That, that's boo. not oh, okay. Well, but <laughs> true, true. Okay, this one because you understand like some people might listen to it with headphones. So like when I get the loud boo in my ear, there's a loud boo that goes. Speaking out. about ears. speaking about telling people where you are, can, do you tell them where when are we right now? Since so we're gonna be posting uh, after after the fact. Toronto. Well. We are in Toronto, but I would hope they would. We're up 3-0. Oh, we are up 3-0. Are we? Uh. Are you? Can you guys talk about the – I always ask you the same question of, of, for, as fans, as players, teammates, about LeBron's two left-handed moves oh my with God. the spin yeah, at the top of the line. Yeah, but this is the thing. We've seen Kyrie do that. Do that shit yeah. Like a, a thousand I know, times. but Kyrie – So, But no, but it's like – it, it's it's one of those things where you know there are lots of things that he has in his arsenal, and it's a borderline unfair. Uh, so we get that, but um, you know, it's just part of it. It is part of who he is. It's part of what he can do as a player. Um, if you see the shit that we see every day, like fans get to see highlights. Fans get we to watch see him. Games. We see him every day. So when he does this stuff, when he spins a ball, when he, d- it's just kind of like, yeah, whatever, whatever, dude, get back on defense. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? It's like whatever. Make You're sure you right. block. Make sure you block out, man. Like, like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not impressed with this. Yeah, shit throw anymore. the ball to me, folks. Yeah, it's like come Stop on, shooting. Dog. <laughs> yeah, seven turnovers. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, I'm tired of this shit. Yeah, Bron, what do you got? Like 32, 99. Yeah. You, you should have had 34. <laughs> you, week. You did say that to him at practice the other day when he was shooting free throws. What did I say? You're like, Bron, you sucked last night. You only had 30, and then he missed the free throw. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you be paying too much attention, folks. I focus. Stop being all about business, girl. Yeah. Damn. Darren Williams told me that. Saying what? Oh, stop being right when he business. right when he got here, I don't think he understood like my role and just how like. What is your role, Ellie? I think a lot of people want to know this. What is your role? What, what kind of access? Do? Well, I'm referring to like when Darren was like, "Why are you um, eavesdropping?" I was in the huddle. And so <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Though, but we have me. different access than other teams allow. 
Oh, we do. Yeah. I think there's very So that's one thing to few. make clear that there's some pe people. players coming from out of, from outside, they <laughs> see you or us in practice, for example. There's very few people uh, in my position of the regional broadcasters. There's 30 of us, obviously, one per team. Uh, very few that actually get to be inside huddles. I think like a handful. Yeah, hey, uh, not to diminish that, but uh, what's in our huddle? Hey, LeBron or Kyrie or Kevin, go score, get a double team, and then pass to the oh, guys that shoot Are you really well. disrespecting T. Lou like that, saying no, that that's I... all that happens in our huddle? Wow. <laughs> it's being sarcastic. Okay. That's the train going by and chanting on the rail. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I'm because just chanting. Not everybody knows you're, sar you're being sarcastic. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Nobody knows I'm being sarcastic. Well, I'm Sorry, saying, what if this is the first time someone's listening? Well, then you should have uh, started from the beginning. <laughs> we are on episode 25. Ooh, 25. Okay. You no, know, it's not that easy. Well, Channing, it's episode 24. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm well, kidding. It's actually less than that. Yeah, way less than that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, hey, funny. Hey. hey, Kentucky Derby, look at these horses. They're cool. Channing, I was just going to have your back. No. Nope. So you're going with Gunnivara? Carnival. I got Patch. I'm going with Always Dreaming. Oh, right dreaming. there. All And Patch is beautiful. Does anybody know all why, they, they, why they go in Paris like that? Tell us, Channing. Tell us. To give us give us a tidbit. No, I'm not going to give you nothing. No, we're Please. asking oh, the a question. Have people, the horse to have company. I want they don't the want people, to be alone. No, no. I want the people to tell us. To tell me. Uh, Channing, I'm going to I don't know. I have, an, I have an assumption. What's the assumption, Channing? Tell My us the assumption. My assumption. Right, is that most of these horses are males, correct? Most of them. Most of them. All right. Whether these horses are males or females, their companions, who they work out with, is a comfort zone. So they have these horses walk next to those comfort zones. As like, you know, when you listen to your music before going into a game or if you walk in with your wife or your boyfriend or your cousin, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're in a comfort zone. So what they do to keep the call is this calm, true, or is this true, or are you? This is a pretty like. This is what he thinks. This is what you think, this or is this what is what you've heard. This is what I think. <sighs> Allie's really. How's the massager going over I'm there? Allie, now it's making me listen. sick. Why is it making you sick? Because it's a lot. It's strong. That's oh digging God. into my muscles. Okay, you wanna? Go. Okay. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> this is PG. Uh, <laughs> Canning's turn with the massager. Uh, Let me see what this is so talking about. Though. I got it at the crib, dog. I got it at the crib. I'm about to massage myself. Yeah, so we're up 3-0. Uh, what are you doing? Is oh, did it die? It's probably dead. Ah, that's what you get. Horses are not loners by nature, so it's common practice for thoroughbreds to keep a horse known as a companion pony for friendship so and support. So you knew this. Were you, uh, you I did know this. The I friends that accompany race horses both on the road and at home are not limited to horses. However, dogs, sheep, goats, and even chickens have served as, com serve as companions. That's not the, that's not the so one we were So, so you knew this. You knew this, and you just did. You wanted to kind of like. It's kind of like the Bud commercial with that dog. Remember that Super Bowl exactly. commercial? Yeah. With so the dog that lives in the in the. I just want to know why you're trying to you tried to act like yeah. Uh, this why are you is playing like? This is the truth. You knew the truth. Well, first of all, you guys think that I exaggerate a lot, so I was just making sure that my facts. Well, you straight. exaggerated about not knowing the truth. <laughs> so you were exaggerating. Well, it was just <laughs> listen. I wanted to make sure I didn't looked it up. I didn't know the correct. You didn't know. That sounds like a pretty accurate assumption. No, that's pretty. That's <laughs> a pretty. <laughs> I would actually shock myself on that one. I was pretty. <laughs> I had a great time at the Kentucky Derby. No one told you. For that. some reason, I felt like somebody it told me that. Mm -hmm. Who was very fluent in, who actually had his family had actually won a Kentucky Derby, but we had uh, a couple men juleps before this, so I didn't know if he was bullshitting me or. That Can you guys give me the inside scoop since we are in the uh, middle of games three and four? So, game three happened last night. Game okay. three was played on Cinco de Mayo. LeBron James so. told Drake. Where are we going for margaritas? On me. After the he game last night. He doesn't drink Did margaritas. He who? Drink Le or Bron Bron doesn't drink no, margaritas. But no, I don't, no, he drinks margaritas on on, um, on Cinco de Mayo. Everyone drinks. I don't drink Corona. But on Cinco de Mayo, I fuck a Corona up. Channing, have you ever been iced? <laughs> Too many times. <laughs> really? Okay, you asked me a question. <laughs> I gave you an honest answer. Yes, too many times. So you've been iced before. Yeah. Where you uh, get down shout on your out knee. to uh, Smirnoff. Send us a bottle. Shout out to my boy Matt Brazzi.
Oh, my God. Have I met Matt Frazzi? No, no. He's a head coach for the uh, I just heard about him. D-League Vipers. That's right. They got second. They got cheated. Hmm. <sighs> Speaking of that, though, last night, you guys were so kind to Eddie. Big sexy? He was so excited to get his award. How do you, you know he was excited? Said, I could see a smile on his face. He put it above his head like you guys hoisted your championship trophy last year. You got to give it to it the fans cool. here, though. They really gave him a nice oh, ovation. Yeah, they did. Absolutely. What yeah. are you eating now? Dude, they're pork, pork dumpling. Some. Dude, did you want one? No. God, you guys don't ever eat with us. You guys are so I scary. do eat. I just can't do two things at once. It's the same style of food. I mean, I can't, no, I can't eat and talk and all that at once. I'm not a very good multitasker. Are You're you guys? You're a woman and you can't multitask? <laughs> I cannot multitask. Oh, my Lord. Well, guys. What, Richard? What? Rafa, tell us about where you're from so we can eat real quick so you don't hear us. <laughs> and go. <laughs> Maybe I should just start translating the podcast into Spanish while you guys eat. No, 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 no. Just uh, Rafa, where are you originally from? Wait, Channing, do you know Spanish? I think Channing is the one that speaks the most Spanish out of everybody. Spanish is muy fácil. <laughs> fácil. Whoops. I was born in El Salvador okay. in Central America. The war kicked me out when I was like 15, came to New York. I came from a country that the tallest building was a 20-story building. I'm moving to New York City. So <laughs> the, 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 the transformation was a, a bit a bit uh, heavy. What part of New York? New York City. Okay. Like I started in Long Island and then in New York City okay. where I lived for, the, for like 25 years. Wow. Took four years in Boston to go to school. Oh, Boston. Boston. Yeah, I, mean, I like Boston. I was poor there, so every time we go back there, I hate it. I don't care what anybody Aww. says about Boston. I was Sorry. poor. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not saying this just for the team or anything like that, but I have not had good experiences in Boston for me. In terms of? It's Although I grew up since I, when I came, I, I was a Celtic fan. You know, that's when Larry and Mikel and Robert Parrish, Danny Ainge. No, no, I respect the Celtics. I respect the fact that that city loves that team. I not a fan of that city. That's just me. That's just me. It's just the food is good. And I know you didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to touch it. In the, or was it you that didn't want to touch the whole Adam Jones thing? But even when, when like Robert Parrish was there, he used to have <laughs> issues with that. Really? Yeah. Like what kind of issues? You know, with the whole thing about racism, racism and stuff. Oh. You know, Boston was probably the last, I think it was the last city to segre- desegregate their schools. Really? Yeah. And this is like late 60s. Ooh, that's so, sensitive. It uh, obviously not everybody's like that because the next day they gave stand- Adam Jones a standing ovation. Obviously, you can't blame everybody for one person, but unfortunately, there's people like that Damn. all over the place. Yeah. Meanwhile, Marky, Marky Mark was convicted of a hate crime. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Which one? Uh, which hate crime? Yeah. What did he do? Uh, I think there was. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think there were some anti-Semitic things he might have said. Ooh. He might have beat up some guy. Um, yeah, it was bad. He got convicted. He's been trying to get it off his record. When I was in school, he actually made a song about it with the with the with the with the background of. Um, I'm gonna knock you out. No, no. Uh, uh, what's the name of that Lou <laughs> Reed song okay. that is very famous? <laughs> okay. Ali came from Miami, FLA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Walking the wild thing. Walking the wild side. Yeah, the wild thing. Wild whatever. Side. whatever I wild side. That song. He made a song about there was a there was a case when a guy who had his wife pregnant shot the wife. And then shot himself and called 911 and said, like, you know, a black guy just, just shot me, whatever. And basically, you were brown or anything darker than that. You were guilty until proven innocent, until they found whoever was. Yeah. The, the, and then and finally, they, it was an insurance scam. Yeah. The, guy, the guy and his brother wanted to collect the money on the wife's death. So they, he jumped off the Tobin Bridge when oh. they got, like, close to him. But, yeah. you know, Marky Mark made a song about that. So. No, that's nutty. Uh, oh, they're putting the horses they're in. The, in. They're in the gate. Channing is having. Um, is the track this a mess? The entire thing. Yeah, because it rained. They they do, they so run it whichever scary. way. You know, inside there's grass. That's what they run the Kentucky Oaks, which is like an, another big race today. Oh, they're wait. off. They're off. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's off. it. There we go. Don't Here we go. Don't. Number two. Oh, oh guys no, already he hurt. broke Watch. it. Oh, he's hurt. Oh. One guy's already hurt. Oh, he doesn't like the what? He doesn't like the. He doesn't like the dirt. Yeah, that's no, that's who is it? Someone, someone's night. Some horse didn't like the water splashing on him. This is the first time they run this long, 
and the first time probably they run in this type of condition. I can't no. believe they didn't cover the track. What do you mean? They cover don't. the track. But I'm saying cover it, cover it so that it but would isn't be it, like dirt. No, because the other there's like seven, eight, uh, ten no, races, no, no, no. and so oh, you always. can't cover it. No, but I'm what's just, amazing? I'm talking about cover it. This doesn't look like this rain happened in the last like two hours. Oh, it has happened in the last two hours. I was literally at a restaurant watching it rain as they run. Oh wow, I did not know that. And, it and just what's got amazing good. about this race is that this is the only time these horses are going to do this race. It's not like they've been preparing for it. They're three years old, and they only get the chance once, one chance to run it. And the Cleveland horse is second. I was almost gonna pick State of Honor. State of Honor, fifty-four to one. He's leading halfway. <laughs> yeah, half so, a mile. Number ten is not gonna win, huh? Who is the one that dropped out? I don't know. One hundred percent, it's number ten. <laughs> <laughs> He was <laughs> always dreaming. <laughs> that boy done. Twist, he twisted his Mega's ass. horse. Where did always dreaming come from? Okay, but look. Okay, always so what's crazy Richard's is that's the Cleveland the horse. The blue, Richard, the blue guy. Oh, but Richard he's not going to finish, picked, right? Wait. Richard picked always dreaming. No, no. The horse in the blue, if he was closer to Ten the front, to I think found. he would have won. What are you? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> that just no to be Down the stretch they come. The horse in the blue if he was closer to the front. Look at him. Look at him. Watch. He's a, always he's a dreamy. The Cleveland horse is going to pull off. No, he's sleepy. He's sleepy. Come on. No, he ain't. He's, he's running on the dry oh, side boy. of the track, too. See? He's on the inside. Come on, Cleveland. Oh, that boy's oh, killing. He Cleveland killing. keeps on winning, man. Come on. He's killing. What do you mean, Cleveland? He's yeah. from the, the, the owners are from Cleveland. Oh, really? Yeah. He's got no dirt on him. That's Always Dreaming's owner he owns the station where the cat my broadcast in Spanish airs in oh, Cleveland. Oh, it's that trainer. No. It's the same no, trainer. No, he Bob won Baffert. 45. That's not, that's not Bob Baffert. Dude, he's won 45-something that's races. Not, that's not Bob Baffert, if that's who you're thinking. Uh, it's uh, Robert Baffert. <laughs> 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 Jesus, I can't. Always Dreaming. Everyone, look at this. Wait till you pull up his that stats. First, that first heard look at this guy. He looks like uh, he should be like falling I call, around the president. I call Bob Baffert. Oh, they have GoPros on the horses. That's oh no, not the horses. It's next to the horses. The Cleveland yeah. streak continues. How about this sideline reporter? Could you imagine? Oh. <laughs> Speaking of multitasking, hey. well, he, she's in a horse. She's on a horse and she has a, ca- a camera on her helmet. Just, but you know, what I'm saying is, riding a horse. She's a next ride. She's a next. Oh, he's his, but there's another lady, Donna Brother, who used to be. He's a, got not a, a speck of dirt on him. It's always great to see him front. He's four foot four, Channing, riding Channing, a five hundred pound horse. Look at the horse. Look at the horse next to him. I'm talking about because he was in first place. That's why I was referencing that. Oh, <laughs> I'm not talking about because of his size. Oh, <laughs> oh. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. oh hey, these dumplings are good though. Yeah, 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 yeah. way to change the subject. So, man, I mean, you know what? We do this a lot, and um, I feel like you've gotten more into doing it. You like it? What podcasting? Is that what you're talking? About? Ellie. <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> You can't ask me these questions. Mind your damn business, girl. Listen, no, I hate this shit. You're lying. Jenny. We've always known you were lying. When you dedicate half your Players Tribune article to the podcast, yeah, that's they kinda asked like... me about it, <laughs> and I gave them a extensive. <laughs> thing. And you weren't supposed to read it, so that's okay. Oh, it was Dude, funny. he is gone. Oh. For that horse to stay in the front like that is actually quite crazy. Oh, he we... wasn't in the in the uh, front the whole time. He came out of nowhere him. after the front turn, the first turn. So what they're so sometimes depending on the horse, what they told me is if you keep a horse, they made me more like left eye dominant, which is like when they run, they look out their left eye. So if they don't see anything, they'll run as fast as you tell them to run. Look at that. Gosh. Look at that beautiful animal. <laughs> and the best thing about it is that only the first guy seemed to have been hurt or hopefully it was just the water that bothered, bothered the horse and it looked like it coming was, out of the it, gate. Yeah, it looked like it was bucking so, more than it was hurt. Yeah, but it, but it was <laughs> weird. Though, he came off. Usually when they open the gate, oh, they it, just. Hey, <laughs> in Del Mar, I've literally seen them put the rope, put like the sheet up. Oh, and, no. Like, yeah, take a horse down. No. What? Oh, yeah. They do. Yeah. Shoot, what <laughs> do they do? They like, they give him a kiss? They pick up the ambulance mystery. and everything, yeah. yeah. Yeah, called putting out of their misery. What? <laughs> yes. I've seen him put the sheet up. Oh, yeah. That's not that trainer, by the way, Channing. The famous one. It's not? No. 
He looks famous. He does. He's got. He looks like him. Same like silver hair, but he's got more of it. Oh. Well. Mm. Uh, Rafa can Google it. It's Bob. Ba- is it Bob Baffert? Bob Baffert. Yeah. He's yeah. That's him. He. This is the first year in years he hasn't had a horse. Ask me how I know that. I don't know. I he retain, used to be retain, beaten all the time by Wayne Lucas. D. Yeah. Wayne Lucas, who was an old dude with the big, gla- big yeah. dark glasses, yeah. and now Wayne Baffert. He won the Triple Crown li- last a couple of years ago. Baffert. Yes. Not that's with the same what, horse, that's but like, that's like what I was thinking. He, one of his horses won the Triple Crown, yeah. meaning the the Der- Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont. That's nutty. Uh, Allie, Look at this so guy. We're at, game, so cool. we're at game three. All right, what do you want? Let's, let's talk what about, about Kyle Corver finally getting oh, shit. a little room? <clears throat> yeah, do something, You Kyle. know what, dude? Make a shot. It's about time. I to told Kyle this. How about his defense, though? Well, I, I think Kyle. Okay. He had a, Kyle, he had a couple no. blocks. Kyle's okay. underrated. What do you mean, Very okay? Under, no, no, I'm saying I mean, re- I Kyle he, is so good. He's, he's above – Average on defense. He is just disgustingly good at shooting. So all everybody cares about is, is shooting. Sorry, I got a little sensitive. Because yeah, very sensitive, a little. Sorry, he tries super hard, man. I think he does not get enough credit for his defense. Like, he's always where you need him to be. He does exactly what you need. Like, he may not be the most athletic. But Are you sensitive, be- are you sensitive because of you, you feel like you get, you get viewed and talked about in the same way? Oh, uh, a hundred percent. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Um. <clears throat> but my question is: what has obviously Toronto has been staying on top of on top of him? Yeah. Just to not to give him any room. But yesterday, last night in the fourth quarter in Game Three, he finally at the well, beginning he, he started he really the right. He doesn't. He, doesn't he started the run, the twenty-three run that, that we had in that. Well, and that's the one thing about him is that you can't leave him. Too quick. Shot Kevin's gonna him. come. And you, you can't. You can't leave him. Sorry. Way to surprise everybody, Jenny. Uh, you can't really leave him. So that just opens things up for Channing. That opens things up for Bron, Kyrie, Kev, uh, for the entire group. So having him yes. uh, makes things a little bit easier. So. You said Kevin's going to come join us? Maybe. Um, and no, you no, mentioned so. about Chumper in the first series. Remember when JR got hurt in the yeah. in the second game at yeah. halftime? This series, he's been amazing too defensively. Yesterday again, covering for JR who was in foul trouble. What? Well, mean, it's, it's going. What? Channing, tell us. Now I was going to say this. Like, when you think about this, we're beating Toronto. We have the same record during the regular season. We're almost tied at the end of three quarters. Coach says, "Hey, Channing, this is not your time. Sacrifice for a team." I said, "Coach, I got you." Channing, coach said those words to you? Coach said those words to you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> he looked said, at me. Come yeah. on, said, man. Let him tell no, the story, man. No, Let me tell my story. It sounded no, good. No, no. It sounded Channing, good. Channing. He looked at me in the eye, uh-huh. and that's what his body language said. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone listening, you guys think I'm mean to Channing. Like, he was about to tell a bold face. Like, he has a smile from ear to ear. Let's hear right it. Now. Let's no, hear I'm it joking. anyway. Let's hear it. How you we... know I'm joking. Let's hear it anyway. Okay. It sounded okay. good. I want to hear I want to hear where he's going. So it sounded like who's here. Oh, jeez. Uh, right. What I'm saying is, like, you look at that lineup. Tristan, Braun, Shump, Kyle, Darren. Mm-hmm. Have we ever played that lineup? I don't think so. Well, we so then, not until that, this series when he had, when coach adjusted series, in the first game. Exactly, in the first game. because they were small. And so you look at these guys. They haven't had a lot of time together playing. And they come out there and absolutely dominate. So everybody has to be ready to play with everybody, even if you never even play with some of these guys. You think about, like, the last series, right? Uh, we're down 26, and Coach is like, we're going to put LeBron and basically four shooters out there, and we, come, we back. come back. So you look at this series. We're, we're down maybe, what is it, two, maybe one? Two at the end of three, yeah. Okay. And we come back, and we go on a 21 to three run. 20 to three, yeah. What? Like, with what lineup? A lineup that's never been together? It's amazing about our team, and it just shows the chemistry we have and, and like, how we can come together and how guys just know their role on a team. And, uh, ooh. Sorry. Uh, 
No, it's fine. It doesn't matter if it drips. It's a hotel. Uh -huh. So it, there was just a party foul. I spilled real red wine, but uh -huh. uh, luckily because of these carpets aren't my own. Yeah, red wine not. vinegar. So I uh, bet you that everybody in the road tripping podcast universe wants to finish listening to hearing uh, Channing's story when Coach told him yeah, so he had to take one for the yeah, team. So when, well, no, so when Coach came to you and told you, I looked hey, at him. I said, "It's okay, Coach. I got you." <laughs> 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 and you told Kyle, "Come on, Kyle, get in there." I said, Kyle, "Hey, Tr I said, Tristan." He makes it seem Do like it this me. is "Remember the Titans." <laughs> Ryan, Ryan Gosling, yeah, right, right. and said, "I told, I, I looked at yeah. Tristan in the eye, I said, Do it for me, Tristan.'" Yeah. All we needed was the the suspense music just keep yeah. going up in volume when Channing you know is telling Coach the story. Did, like, Listen, you know, Coach some did, guys, Coach some tell. guys just love putting out flames, don't they, man? This is ridiculous, <laughs> man. Didn't tell you. Shit. Just no, Coach no. He did. He looked at, the at me bench and said, "Kyle, not Channing." That's when, that's when you looked at me and you're like, "Well, I'm done." Didn't he say, <laughs> what? Didn't he say Channing first though? No, he did. And then what happened was when I went in, they took another player of theirs out. So yeah, they, they know it's with barbecue Ibaka. chicken. When I go in, when a certain guy goes in, did and so you they switched. Steal that line from Charles Barkley? No, I stole it from Shaq. Oh, because in Phoenix. All the Phoenix guys stole it from Shaq, and then we would say that, right? So this here's a funny story. Somebody on we'll Phoenix. Judge of that. Okay, this is very, fuck you, Richard. <laughs> Somebody on Phoenix was guarding a certain someone. Okay, Wait, I love the details. And they had 24 at the half, so they come in. They're down four. So this one person has 24 at the half. We're down, they're down four. I'm not on the team at the time, but I play with 90% of these, these players except for Shaq. So the guy who's getting barbecued. It was Amari, wasn't it? Uh, what? Who? <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. What do you mean, what a dick? Amari's not even in the NBA anymore. You can tell it. You don't have to worry about him. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, months, right, right. Okay? Good point, good point, so good point. Tell good point. any okay, story okay, you okay. want about Amari. Go okay, ahead. cool, cool. Amari Stoudemire. Yeah, he was getting a barbecue chicken. They were playing Golden State. I think it was like. Kalina as a bookie. It was it's a bad matchup. Yeah. Anyways, so he has twenty four of the half, and Amari goes, "Hey man, somebody need to guard Kalina. Hey, somebody needs to guard as a bookie so we can win this game. You know, something, some of that sort." And Shaq was like looking around, was like, "I think that's you. Smell like barbecue chicken." <laughs> 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 Yo, so all the guys on the team are dying laughing. I guess like you know, from then on, everyone just kind of agreed that. The barbecue chicken. And then, you know what? And look, there have been times when it goes from the barbecue chicken to the portobello mushrooms to the prosciutto with asparagus. Oh and then God. once you get to the pork shoulder and the tri-tip, that means it's super barbecue chicken. What? Uh, pork shoulder and asparagus and, and prosciutto? That means it's super barbecue chicken? You just said There's like levels of the chicken that it gets to. Last night, Braun got to... Prosciutto and asparagus. And what's the next? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, so it's probably prosciutto. Uh, Try tip. And then? Uh, pork shoulder. And then? <laughs> Are you oh, interested listen. in the ladder? <laughs> yeah, I I never, making uh, order? Yeah, I need to see where he's at. I never. Oh, oh listen. What? I've seen that boy whole pork. <laughs> Whole pig, 150-pound pig on that spit now. Who will slow him down? Slow him Himself? Down. If he gets tired or, like, he has a cold or something? I don't know. It's Like, what, what are you going to do? Honestly, what like, as a player, what are you going to do? How are you going to guard that? Because I'm going to tell you this, man. On this team, I never, like, <clears throat> if you are, like, you got to be a man about your game and your confidence and everything because some days you'll play 30, other games you may play four, and it has absolutely nothing to do with you as, like, a person. It is who you are on the basketball court. So Kyle sometimes will play 35 minutes. Sometimes Kyle's going to play 15. Channing, big dog, the front island. It, it, some days it ain't, it ain't There's you, There's no ferry guy. to the island. <laughs> no, no, there ain't no ferry to that island. Listen, this is, my, this is dual survival. <laughs> Listen, it'd be like that. But as long as we win, I don't care. I don't care. All that matters. All that matters is guess what? If we win, I'm not. If you think JR didn't have a shirt off, I didn't know. I was trying to keep it like very calm last year because I didn't know how champion's supposed to act. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> 
shirt off shouty this year. Oh, I'm, I'm literally eating just for that moment when I think No, salmon. <laughs> Should I do 10 abs? Just for the shirt, no. for the top 40. moment. My dog, oh. Big Kevin <laughs> Webby. <laughs>